Hi everyone, this is George, and welcome to my review. Today's review、um, is on the Spyderco Paramilitary Tool. As you can see, it's the the Black Blade version.、Um, it's actually a diamond-like carbon coating. So,、um, as we get down to the review,、um, you can see here's the rating I gave to the knife. And here's the specifications. In case you haven't gone on the website to check it out, but、um, if you need to, you can always freeze the per first page. But now we get、uh, getting on to the review side of the video.、Um, in my opinion, this knife has the state of art technologies and material.、Uh, the G10 is、uh, on the handle as well as the steel、uh, stainless steel liner. Which is all hollowed out to reduce the weight.、Um, the blade is made of S30V steel, and、um, the diamond-like diamond -like carbon is a, a new technology they use to coat materials、uh, to stop them from being scratched by, say, your key or、um, other hard surface materials. So、um, I've checked it out on the website.、Um, Wikipedia, they say this material,、um, the diamond-like carbon, can protect your steel、um, to up to some eighty years.、Um, in comparison to without the the the、uh, the coating,、um, the steel will last for two weeks under the same condition. So that is a very、um, high tech in here.、Um, Another thing about the material,、uh, this this knife is、um, it's got a very good and smooth, fast opening. As you can see, I personally can't deploy the knife with my mid finger, but、um, I've seen some people on YouTube can. So making this knife deploying as fast as a switch blade, in my in my opinion.、Um, but the reason that this knife has a very fast opening system is. Um, I think it's due to that they are using the、um, the washer here. You can't really see it; it's very thin.、Um, also, there's a mechanism inside the the blade here, which is called、um, the pivot bushing system. I I never opened this knife yet because I just got it, but、uh, the pivot bushing system is just a a mechanism, which. In comparison with your your traditional、um, system, which only involves having having the blade、uh, being constructed with、uh, this pivot screw,、um, in this system you you can imagine that by tightening the screw,、uh, the the handle material as well as the liner will have a compression on the、uh, on the blade, which Make opening the blade a lot、uh, slower because the compression on on the blade will slow it down.、Um, however, in the pivot bushing system, you have a a washer, essentially a cylinder, within、um, within of the the blade. So that kind of takes all the pressure from the the screw when you tighten them.、Um, so maintaining the pressure. On on each surface of this blade, essentially the same, despite the fact that you are tightening the screw here. So、um, actually, I do have a very good example of that. So as you can see, I've got the Benchmade Knife Forty here, which doesn't have the pivot screw,、uh, pivot bushing system. Now you can see that the knife is essentially very. Uh, very loose. Okay, so if I tighten the, if I tighten the screw here, it doesn't do that、um, that swing anymore. So. So that's just telling you that the pivot screw actually make、um, 
it's it's a very good mechanism. Anyways, moving on to next point, we have um, all the options for pocket clips, which is um, up, tip up, tip down, left hand, right hand. So that's really good. Um, this knife also has a very good jimping um, cut it out on the back of the blade as well as back of the hand, uh, back of the liners, front of the blade, and the texture of this handle is also very jimpy. So essentially, um, I think Spyderco has done everything they can to make this knife a very, um, very firm knife for you to carry. So um, another point I need to mention about the the jimping on this knife is in comparison with uh, a few other models I have reviewed, um, for for example the Endure Four and also the Pacific Assault. As you can see, the Endure Four has a shallower jimping, and uh, Endure uh, the Pacific Assault has much more uh, deeper jimping, which is a little bit more aggressive. However, in the paramilitary tool, uh, the jimping in the magnified uh, glass is kind of having a very parallel manner and they all point toward the, the thumb surface. So when you push upon the back of the blade, you can feel it actually digs into your, your thumb very, very firmly. So. Actually, in a way that's probably not always wanted by some users, as it's very it kind of hurts a little bit. But um, I think I think it's always good to have a good jimping, good effective jimping. Um, so another thing is, um, it's a very sharp knife. Um, I forgot to make a very brief demonstration. So here we go. It's a very sharp knife. I think it's even even by Spyderco's standard, which is already very high, this knife cuts very well. So I can do this all day long, but we need to finish the review in time. Um, oh yeah, and also as you can see, there's a very big layer hole here. Um, I think it's quite unusual. It's a little bit quite um, overly done, but I think that it gives you the option to use a thicker line, a line, um, a string or whatever. And also the hollowed liner, we mentioned it. Uh, a couple of other points I made, because I think, um, I think I need to mention this tip here is a very, very thin and a very pointed tip. So, I think that can do you a lot of good when you, when you, if you have to defend yourself with it, this tip will penetrate just about all kind of clothing someone can wear. Uh, although I will mention in the future, um, it is a rather weak tip. So if you do end up stepping on the hard surface, a wall or concrete by accident, you may um, very well damage the tip or destroy it. Um, Compressional lock is very strong. It's actually kind of a variant of a uh, your your liner lock. I have made a drawing of the the locking mechanism. Hope you can understand it. As you, you see here is the blade. Uh, here is the the blade stopper, which is over here. Um, here is the spring which you kind of control to lock the, the, the knife. So as your, your blade uh, rotates from the closed position to the open position, when it enters the, the, the fully open position, the, the liner here ultimately slides within this cavity, which forms a, um, another blade stopper between the, the locking surface and the, the blade stopper. So as you can see that once the liner locks into this surface, rotating the blade will be pretty much impossible due to the strength of the liner as well as that blade stopper. So 
it gives you kind of a double the double amount of the strength to uh, a compression lock. Uh, to sorry to um, a liner lock. So that's why I think it's a very strong locking mechanism. It's very genius as well. As you can see, you can also close this knife without having to worry about putting your thumb in between of the blade as well as the uh, between the blade and the handle. So it's a very good design. Um, the negative points actually, um, I think the knife is very excellent, and the negative points are kind of made on a very picky standard. But I think in in to kind of know if you're a picky buyer, um, the tip it is a very thin and narrow and pointed tip, like a lot of other spidercos. Except that in this knife, the tip is extra extra pointy. So just to be aware, you're not going to, you shouldn't abuse this knife, or it will fail on you. Um, I think there's a slight discomfort on the on the handle, just very slightly discomfort, um, due to the the fact that they actually already rounded all the edges of the knife, as you can see. But I th uh, in my opinion, they could definitely improve it by rounding it a little bit more. This angle here still feels like a somewhat a 90 degrees angle. I think it, they can improve it. Um, but it's, a, it's still a very comfortable knife in your hand. Um, I think in terms of cutting hard materials or long-term cutting, um, without the back spacer here, it is definitely kind of going to um, hurt you a little bit or maybe potentially cause blisters. But um, I, um, this is a kind of first impression video of this knife, so I'm not really too sure how badly it will hurt. A um, couple of other n uh, negatives are based on my preference. Um, I think, yes, here I already mentioned it. And another thing is, um, the Jinping is probably a bit too aggressive So for some people. Just bear in mind, so if you don't like a very aggressive Jinping, this knife here is more aggressive in terms of Jinping than many of the sp other spidercore models. So you gotta keep in mind that's um, that could be something that stops you from liking this knife very much. And also the diamond-like carbon, essentially, like the name suggests, it's like diamond. So it's harder than most of other materials. So certainly when you sharpen this knife to grind off the, the edge here, when you sharpen it, it could potentially be a little bit harder than um, a normal knife, in my opinion. And also, uh, as an EDC, it's on the kind of heavier side. As you can see that um, I have here a Benchmade 940, which has a similar length in terms of blade, but the 940 is, uh, weighs a lot less. So, and this knife weighs about 3.4 ounce or something. So it's a little bit heavy, but otherwise, uh, the Spadical Paramilitary Tool is a refined version of the Paramilitary One. It's an excellent knife. I think you can definitely get one of these and uh, you enjoy using it. So thank you very much for watching my review. I'll see you next time.